Let's go ahead and look at the put request. So the put request is gonna be very similar to the post request. So we're gonna create a function. We're gonna give it an appropriate name. In this case, it's update user because that's the action that we're trying to take. And then we're gonna make it return an observable just like before. But this time we're gonna call the put on the HTTP and then pass in the URL. And we also have to pass in the payload. As you can see, we're passing in this payload inside of the function as the request body to that HTTP call. Now, one thing you have to know is whenever you're sending a put request, you have to send the entire data. So for instance, if our user looks like this, and remember earlier we had the name as Junior, but now we have Richard. So if we're sending this data and we want to change this name to Richard, we have to send the entire data. As you can see here, I'm passing in the ID, pass in the new name this time, which is Richard, and then I pass in the gender. So if we don't do that, meaning if we don't pass in all the properties of that specific user, then everything that we don't pass will be set to the default value. So if your backend is, for instance, using Java, and let's say I didn't pass the gender, then this gender, which is a string, in Java, the default value of a string is null, then this would be null. So null will be saved in a database. So, and that's the main difference between put and patch. Whenever you're using put, you have to send in the entire data. Otherwise, everything Everything else that you don't send will be set to the default value. But with patch, it's a little bit different. With patch, you don't have to send the entire data, and we're gonna see that in a second. But just remember that whenever you're trying to update data and you're using the put, you have to make sure that you send the entire data, meaning all the properties on that specific piece of data. Now, that's just the default, but whoever is building the web service, they can make a certain endpoint accept the put request to update a user, and then they can put in any logic that they want to make sure that the data is saved properly. So it really comes down to the implementation of that specific API or web service. But typically, whenever you send a put request, you have to send the entire data. So all the properties on that data, which is the main difference with patch, because with patch, you don't have to send all the properties on that specific piece of data. You might just have to send the ID and then whatever field or value you want to change and everything else will stay the same. But with put, we have to send the entire data. So let's go ahead and give this a try. 